Time now for today's community update. Joining us this morning is Appleton Mayor Jake Woodford. Mayor, thank you so much for being here this morning. Glad to be with you. Now, last night, the Municipal Services Committee considered the College Avenue Lane reconfigurator. I can't even say it, reconfiguration project. There you go. <laughs> what were the results? Uh, so, after a brief discussion, mm -hmm. the committee uh, is moving this forward to council. Uh, they, they voted unanimously in favor of the proposal, so it'll move on to the council meeting, the next council meeting, which is the first Wednesday of April. So quickly tell us what it is. Uh, so this has been under discussion in the city of mm -hmm. Appleton now for a couple of months, uh, and, and really it's a couple of years in the making. Mm -hmm. uh, and the proposal is to reconfigure a section of College Avenue that runs through the downtown from four lanes uh, to three lanes. So. Uh, creating a center turn lane uh, that'll make left turns a little bit easier, uh, easier visibility, making those left-hand turns. If you've driven mm -hmm. on College Avenue, you've experienced, you know, waiting behind a car trying to turn left. It's hard to see around cars, so that, that center turn lane is going to help. Uh, also, uh, we'll add bike lanes to College Avenue. And uh, our, we're also aiming at, at slowing vehicle speeds down and preventing some of the drag racing and other behavior that we've seen on College Avenue. So now after last night, where does it go from here? Yeah, so, so next step is on to council the first, first Wednesday of April. Mm -hmm. If council approves this proposal, then we'll go out and get bids uh, for the painting contract. Because effectively, this is a, paint, a, a repainting job on College Avenue. It's not heavy construction. It won't lead to any kind of long-term closures on College Avenue while it's implemented. But... Uh, we'll go out to bid, we'll get those bids, and then council will take up a, a painting contract in the spring. Oh, wow. So this is the, like the, one of the final steps right now of getting approved. We, we are moving our way through the process, yeah. Okay. Do you expect it to be approved? Well, you know, the council has uh, asked many questions about this project, gotten a lot of input from the community, and uh, I expect that they will make an informed vote when they take it up on April 5th. What is the MS Awareness City Challenge? Oh, the MS Awareness City Challenge. So we got a challenge going on between the city of Appleton, mm -hmm. city of De Pere. Mayor Boyd and I have a bit of a competition going on. Uh, and the stakes are pretty high for us because uh, the, the mayor of the losing city has to sing at the walk event for the other community. So we've, oh. got, we've got a couple of walk events coming up, uh, April 22nd in Appleton and then 23rd in De Pere. Uh, so we're, we're raising money to, to help support the MS Society of Wisconsin, uh, which is a great organization that's raising awareness about multiple sclerosis uh, and, and also providing support to those who are experiencing multiple sclerosis. So. Uh, really excited about mm -hmm. the challenge. We're raising money. Uh, we're, we're, we're neck and neck right now. So I uh, really need Appleton uh, to get behind this uh, and help avoid, help me avoid yeah, singing. singing in front of people <laughs> in De Pere. Um, but I, I, we look forward to welcoming Mayor Boyd to Appleton uh, and can't wait to hear him sing. <laughs> now, Toward One Wisconsin is a conference the city is hosting next month. What is it and what is the goal? Yeah, so Toward One Wisconsin is a, is a conference series that's been happening for the last couple of years in the state. It's a statewide conference. The focus is on diversity, equity, and inclusion and the multiple facets around uh, becoming a more diverse uh, society. And uh, this is something that's been held in other parts of the state, and we're really excited to be hosting it in the city of Appleton. Uh, it runs April 25th through 26th, and uh, it'll be at the Hilton in uh, downtown Appleton. And uh, there's also some virtual attendance options available. But you know, Toward One Wisconsin provides a, a full slate of conference topics uh, that, that touch on the various facets of diversity, equity, and inclusion and how it impacts our lives and communities, our local economies, and the experiences of people in our, in our community. So looking forward to hosting that in Appleton. All right, Mayor, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely, thank we'll you. We'll be right back.